Question 21. The table gives some statements about assets and bases and explanations for these statements. Which row shows both a correct statement and a correct explanation for the statement? Let's take a look at statement A. Ammonia can be made by heating ammonium carbonate with calcium hydroxide. This statement is true because calcium hydroxide, which is a metal hydroxide, is a base. And we know that bases can react with ammonium salts to give ammonia gas. In this case, the ammonia salt is ammonium carbonate. Let's write the equation for this reaction. Calcium hydroxide reacting with ammonium carbonate will give us ammonia gas. And aside from that, a salt, which will be calcium carbonate and another byproduct of water. We can see that essentially, the metal ion and the N ion of the ammonium salt comes together to give us the salt. The hydroxide ions and the ammonium ions are what is reacting to give us the remaining two byproducts of ammonia gas and water. We can see that the hydroxide ion indeed takes away one H plus ion from ammonium to give us water and ammonia gas. Essentially, ammonium has lost 1H plus to hydroxide ion in order for it to become ammonia gas. And as a result of accepting 1H plus ion, the hydroxide ion becomes water. So it is true to say that the hydroxide ion, which is from the calcium hydroxide, removes the H plus ion from the ammonium ion. Let's take a look at why options B, C and D are wrong. Option B states that the pH of a weak acid is higher than the pH of a strong acid of the same concentration. We know that the pH scale ranges from 0 to 14 with 7 as the neutral pH and anything below 7 as acidic and above 7 as alkaline. A weak acid is going to be less acidic or rather more alkaline than a strong acid. Therefore, the pH will definitely be higher. This statement is therefore true. pH shows the extent of ionization. This is also true. pH can be derived mathematically as the negative log 10 of hydrogen ions. This means that the more hydrogen ions there are, the lower the pH because of the negative sign in front. So pH definitely shows the extent of ionization, but the, the more ionized the acid is, the higher the pH. This is wrong. The more ionized an acid is, meaning let's represent an acid as HA, being ionized means it ionizes into the H plus and the A minus ions. The more ionized it is, the, the more of the ion products we will get. And the more hydrogen ions we get, the lower the pH. So this statement is wrong in the sense that the more ionized the acid is, the lower should be the pH instead of higher. Option C states that calcium hydroxide can be used to control pH in soils. That is correct because calcium hydroxide is basic and it can help to improve acidity in soil by neutralizing the acids. Metal hydroxides are acidic. This statement is not true. Metal hydroxides are basic and can hence reduce acidity. Option D states that when an acid reacts with the metal, the metal is reduced. Let's see if this is true. I'm going to use sodium as a metal and hydrochloric acid as an acid. We know that when a metal reacts with an acid, a salt is produced and hydrogen gas is also produced. 
from pure metal to becoming a metal ion in a salt, we know that sodium went from Na to Na+. The increase in the oxidation state of 0 in Na to plus 1 in Na+, shows that sodium has been oxidized. So in this case, in the metal acid reaction, the metal is going to be oxidized. So it is incorrect to say that the metal is reduced. Therefore, option D is also wrong, leaving us with A as the correct answer.